Hey everyone, how's it going? So today I want to show you guys a uh, new creation of mine, and I want to show you guys how to make a Godzilla dragon form. So to start off with this, we're going to begin with the eyes, and these eyes are going to have to be kind of small just so we can fit everything in here. So I'm going to start right here, and I'm just going to draw a little line that's just going to kind of curve up like this. Then starting here, I'm just going to draw a line that just kind of goes down and then kind of curves up like that. Then starting right here, I'm just going to draw a line. It's just going to curve down and then it's just going to kind of go in like this. Now starting here, I'm just going to draw a line that's just going to go down. And then I'm going to draw a line that goes out and then comes in for part of the nose. And then right here you want to draw a line that just kind of curves up like this. Now starting here I'm going to draw a line that just kind of goes down. It's going to curve around and then come back up like this. And I'm going to draw this line It's just going to go up down, back up, and then back down again. Then starting right here, I'm just going to draw a line. It's just going to curve down, and then it's going to go over like this, and then going to curve up like that. Then I'm just going to draw a line. It's just going to come up and go right up here towards the top of the mouth. Then starting here, I'm going to draw a little line, it just kind of curves around, leave a little bit of space in between there. And then I'm just going to draw a line, it just kind of goes down, over, and then I'm just going to curve up, and then just kind of go straight up like this for part of the jaw. Now starting right here, I'm going to draw a line that goes up, and then I'm just going to kind of curve it around to shape out the head. Then starting right here, I'm just going to draw a line that's just going to kind of curve around. And I'm just going to kind of curve it right to about here. Now starting right here, I'm just going to draw a line that's just going to kind of curve up a little bit here. And I'm going to add a few more of these kind of curved lines just to show where the neck is kind of bending. Now starting right here, I'm going to just draw a line. It's just going to go down and then it's going to kind of go at an angle like this. Then I'm going to draw a line. It's just going to kind of curve down for one of the fingers and come back. Then I'm going to draw another one right here that goes down and comes back up, keep them kind of pointed. And then one more right here, and I'm going to curve this around for the hand. Then starting here, I'm just going to draw a line, it's just going to kind of curve, go down, and then it's going to kind of curve up and around like this. Then starting here, I'm just going to draw a line. It's just going to kind of come down and go straight to the hand. Now starting right here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue this line down. We're going to run this right into the tail. So I'm just going to curve this line down and I'm going to bring it up like this. And then I'm going to make it come all the way down here towards the corner. Then I'm just going to draw a line, it's just going to curve up. And then as I get back towards the body, I'm just going to make this get bigger and bigger like this. Hey. 
Now starting here I'm going to have the leg, and the leg's mostly going to be hidden by the tail. So I'm just going to draw a line, it's just going to kind of curve down like this, and then kind of pull back into here. Then I'm going to draw a line right here just to kind of show where the rest of the body is. Then starting here, I'm just going to draw a line that's just going to go down. And then I'm going to continue down here and just draw a line that curves down and comes back up. I'm going to make another line that goes down and up. One that goes down here, down and up again. I'm going to curve this around for another hand. And then just kind of bring it up here. Now for the wings. So starting right here, I'm just going to draw a line and I'm just going to kind of curve this up and I'm going to come kind of like up to here. And then I'm just going to curve this line down to here. And then what I'm going to do is I want to connect these right here. So I'm just going to bring this line up to right about here. And then I'm going to draw a line. It's just going to kind of go up. It's going to go down a little bit, up, down, up, and then back down to here. Now, starting over here, I want to draw the other wing. So I'm going to draw a line. It's just going to kind of curve into here. And then I'm going to curve it out. And I'm going to bring this line all the way out to here. And then I'm just going to curve it up, down, go up, down, up, down, and then kind of bring it right back to here. Okay, so here's our basic shape of our kind of Dragon Godzilla. Now I'm going to add a few different details and stuff in here. So let's start on the face and let's start adding with the teeth. So I'm just going to draw some different length sharp teeth in here. A little curved line here. And then I'm going to add some more sharp teeth right in here. Now right here on the eye I'm going to draw that line a little bit higher and this one a little bit longer. And then I'm just going to make some little lines going right down the head. And then I'm going to make a few more kind of curved lines that just kind of go right around the shape of the body. Make a little line that just kind of runs along along the mouth just kind of make some lips. An extra little curved line right here around the nose. I'm going to add some extra little lines around the eye. Now down here on the hands I'm going to add some little curved lines onto the claws. Then I'm just going to add some extra lines right around them. I'm going to add some extra lines right around the arm just to kind of make it look like it is sitting in there. Add a little extra line right here on the jaw and just a couple little broken lines kind of around here. I'm going to add some extra little kind of broken lines just kind of curve right around the head. Put some more little ones right around here just for some little details on there. I'm going to draw a little curved line right here by the nose and a little line down and a couple more little lines. Then I'm just going to make a couple little lines kind of going around the face and the jaw here. Now here on the arm I'm going to add a little curved line right here. And I'm just going to make some kind of little broken lines that just kind of curve right around the arm. By making these curved on the top and the bottom, it just kind of shows that the arm is rounded. 
I'm just going to make some kind of little lines all the way around. Now right here I'm going to add just a couple little lines just right where the leg is. And then I'm just going to add a couple little lines right down from the top of the neck, or the bottom of the, right here by the jaw, all the way down to the arm, jump over, and then come right here. Then I'm just going to make some kind of more little kind of broken curved lines that just kind of follow the curve of the body. And I'm going to take these all the way down towards the tail, so just some kind of like little broken curved lines. Just going to take them all the way down here, just like that. And then right here on the tail, I'm just going to add a nice long broken line that goes all the way back up to here. Then I'm just going to add a couple little broken lines up and down and kind of curved around here, just to kind of make it look like where the leg is sitting in there. Then I'm just going to run a couple little lines down the center and kind of around where the stomach is. Then I'm going to put a few on this arm back here and the hand, put a little more on the hands too. And some more up here. Then I'm going to run some kind of long broken lines just kind of right down the tail and everything. Kind of right along the body. Now for some details on the wings. So what I want to do is I'm just going to start right here and I'm just going to kind of draw a line that's just going to kind of go right up to here. And then I'm just going to make a couple little lines that just kind of run right up into here. more in here. Then over here I'm just going to draw a line that just kind of goes up to here and that's just going to kind of curve around and down. Then I'm going to put another big one up here. Another one here. And then one small one right here. Then right on top, I'm just going to put kind of like a little bit of a claw on each one. And then I'm just going to add some little lines kind of coming down here from each, from the center of each of these. Just some kind of long broken lines. I'm going to add some little kind of curved lines around these just to add a little bit of detail onto it, a little bit of texture. A couple little long broken lines going up them as well. Same thing on these. Just some little broken lines around here just to add some details. On here I'm just going to add some nice long broken lines all over the place. Now one of the last things we want to do is we want to add some of his spikes onto here. So, since this is just kind of like a dragon one, you can kind of do this however, I'm just going to make some kind of like tall spikes up here, and I am just drawing them kind of right on top of, on the wings and everything, just because I'm going to kind of color over them. As I get out here, I'm going to make them a little bit bigger and a little bit more jagged and everything. And I'm just going to kind of put these all over. I'm not really doing the traditional Godzilla spikes, I'm just kind of making these Kind of just my own style, more a little bit more curved and everything. Not so many different points all over. Then I might throw like a couple more behind it, just to make them a little bit taller. And add just a few, a little bit more detail into here. And then I'm going to add just a couple little spikes kind of going down the sides here and just a little bit of kind of squiggly lines around here just to give it the effect of more spikes. And 
Then right down here, it's kind of bothering me. I'm just going to draw a line that just kind of goes down here. And then a line that just kind of curves down here, just to kind of show where his feet would be. And I'm just going to add just a couple little lines on here. It's bothering me a little bit that this leg, it just looked too small up here with this tail. And then you can always add some extra little lines on top of these spikes and everything. And then any other little details you want to add right around here. Just kind of make it look a little bit more realistic. I always like adding lots of lines. Line work is one of my favorite things to do. And there you go. There is your drawing of a Godzilla dragon. I'm going to fast forward and start coloring this. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed.